That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong's iconic words as he first set foot on the lunar surface captured humanity's fascination with Earth's celestial companion. But what if our moon, constant presence in the night sky, and inspiration for countless myths and legends was slowly slipping away? Recent scientific studies have revealed a startling truth. Our moon is indeed drifting further from Earth with each passing year. This video explores the eye-opening reality of our moon's gradual retreat and what it could mean for our planet's future. The Moon's Slow Retreat For billions of years, the moon has been Earth's faithful companion, lighting up our nights and driving the ocean's tides. But this relationship is not as stable as it may seem. Using precise laser measurements, scientists have determined that the moon is moving away from Earth at a rate of about 1.5 inches, 3.8 centimeters, per year. This recession is caused by the complex gravitational dance between the Earth and moon. The moon's gravity pulls on Earth's oceans, creating tidal bulges. As Earth rotates faster than the moon orbits, these bulges get slightly ahead of the moon. The bulges then pull forward on the moon, adding energy to its orbit and causing it to spiral gradually outward. While 1.5 inches per year may not sound like much, over millions of years, it adds up. When the moon first formed around 4.5 billion years ago, it was much closer to Earth, perhaps only about 14,000 miles away compared to its current average distance of 238,855 miles. Back then, it would have appeared enormous in the sky, and Earth's days were much shorter, lasting only about five hours. As the moon has drifted outward, Earth's rotation has slowed, gradually lengthening our days to the current 24 hours. This process will continue far into the future, with days getting incrementally longer as the moon recedes. In about 50 billion years, the moon's outward spiral would theoretically end with Earth and the moon becoming tidally locked, always showing the same faces to each other as they orbit around a common center of mass. The formation of the moon itself is a fascinating story that ties into its current retreat. The prevailing theory, known as the giant impact hypothesis, suggests that a Mars-sized object collided with the early Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. The debris from this massive impact coalesced to form the moon. This violent birth set the stage for the gravitational interactions we observe today. Impact on Earth's climate and life the moon's influence on Earth goes far beyond simply lighting up the night sky. Its gravitational pull is responsible for ocean tides, which play a crucial role in shaping coastal ecosystems and regulating ocean circulation patterns. As the moon moves further away, these tidal effects will gradually diminish. Weaker tides could have significant impacts on coastal and marine environments. Many species rely on the predictable ebb and flow of tides for feeding, reproduction, and other behaviors. Intertidal zones, the areas exposed at low tide and submerged at high tide, are incredibly biodiverse ecosystems that would be altered by reduced tidal ranges. For example, many species of corals in the Great Barrier Reef synchronize their spawning with the lunar cycle. The precise timing of moonrise and the amount of moonlight play crucial roles in triggering this mass reproductive event. As the moon's distance changes even slightly, it could potentially disrupt these delicate biological rhythms. The moon also helps stabilize Earth's axial tilt, which is responsible for our seasons. Without the moon's steadying influence, computer models suggest Earth's tilt could vary chaotically, potentially causing extreme climate shifts. While this instability would take millions of years to develop, it highlights how integral the moon is to conditions on Earth. On much shorter timescales, even small changes in tidal patterns could affect global climate. Ocean tides help drive circulation of water between the equator and poles, playing a role in distributing heat around the planet. Weaker tides could potentially alter these currents, with complex ripple effects on regional climates. The moon's gravitational pull also has subtle effects on Earth's crust, causing it to bulge slightly. This tidal flexing of the solid Earth contributes to geological processes, including volcanic activity and earthquakes. While the immediate effects of the moon's retreat on these processes would be minimal over very long time scales, it could potentially alter the frequency and intensity of certain geological events. Will the moon really disappear? Despite the alarming notion of the moon drifting away, there's no need to panic about Earth losing its nightlight anytime soon. At the current rate of recession, it would take over 50 billion years 
for the moon to double its distance from Earth. Our sun will likely exhaust its fuel and expand into a red giant star in about 5, 7 billion years, long before any drastic changes to the Earth-Moon system. Additionally, as the moon moves outward, the rate of its recession is expected to slow. Earth's rotation will continue to decelerate, reducing the tidal bulge that pushes the moon away. Some models predict the moon will reach a maximum distance in about 15 billion years before slowly beginning to spiral back in towards Earth. It's also worth noting that the moon's current rate of recession is anomalously high due to the particular configuration of Earth's oceans. As continental drift reshapes coastlines over hundreds of millions of years, the rate of lunar retreat may change. While the moon isn't in danger of disappearing entirely, its gradual retreat serves as a reminder that our solar system is dynamic and ever-changing. The stable, life-supporting conditions we enjoy on Earth are the product of a delicate cosmic balance that has evolved over billions of years. Implications for Future Lunar Exploration as we look to a future of increased lunar exploration and potential colonization, understanding the moon's retreat takes on practical importance. While the yearly change in distance is minuscule on human timescales, it could potentially impact long-term planning for lunar missions and infrastructure. For instance, slight changes in the moon's distance could affect the timing and fuel requirements for spacecraft trajectories between Earth and the moon. Over decades, accumulated changes might necessitate adjustments to communication systems or observation schedules for lunar telescopes. The Moon's retreat also offers a unique opportunity to study the evolution of planetary systems. By precisely measuring the current rate of recession and comparing it to geological records of ancient tides, scientists can refine models of how the Earth-Moon system has changed over billions of years. This knowledge could provide insights into the formation and development of other planets and moons throughout the universe. Current space exploration initiatives, such as NASA's Artemis program, aim to establish a sustained human presence on the moon. As we develop lunar bases and potentially extract resources from the moon, it's crucial to consider the long-term dynamics of the Earth-Moon system. While the changes are gradual, they could impact future generations of lunar inhabitants and infrastructure. The Moon's Role in Earth's Habitability The Moon's importance to life on Earth extends beyond its more obvious effects on tides and seasons. Some scientists argue that the Moon has played a crucial role in making Earth habitable in the first place. One theory suggests that the giant impact that formed the Moon also delivered a significant portion of Earth's water. The Moon's formation may have also helped Earth retain its atmosphere by increasing the planet's mass and gravity. The stabilizing effect of the Moon on Earth's axial tilt has likely been crucial for the development of complex life. Without this stability, Earth might have experienced wildly varying climates that would have made it difficult for life to evolve and thrive. As the Moon continues to retreat, these stabilizing influences will gradually diminish. While this won't lead to immediate catastrophic changes, it underscores the delicate balance that has allowed life to flourish on our planet. The Moon has also played a significant role in human culture and scientific advancement. It has been a calendar, a navigation tool, and an object of religious and mythological significance across cultures. The drive to reach the Moon spurred tremendous technological innovation in the 20th century, with many of those advances finding applications in everyday life on Earth. Measuring the Moon's Retreat the discovery of the Moon's gradual retreat is a testament to the precision of modern scientific instruments. The primary method for measuring this recession is called lunar laser ranging. This technique involves firing laser pulses at reflectors left on the Moon's surface by Apollo astronauts and Soviet lunar rovers. By measuring the time it takes for the laser pulses to return to Earth, scientists can calculate the Moon's distance with incredible accuracy, down to just a few centimeters. This ongoing experiment, which has continued for over 50 years, has provided invaluable data about the Moon's orbit and the dynamics of the Earth-Moon system. These measurements have not only confirmed the Moon's retreat, but have also revealed subtle variations in its rate of recession. These fluctuations can be caused by factors such as changes in Earth's rotation, shifts in ocean tides, and even the gravitational effects of other planets in our solar system. The Future of Earth Without the Moon While the complete loss of the Moon is not a realistic scenario in the foreseeable future, considering its effects helps us appreciate its importance. If the Moon were to suddenly disappear or move significantly farther away, 
the consequences for Earth would be profound. Without the Moon's stabilizing influence, Earth's axial tilt could vary wildly, potentially causing extreme climate shifts. Seasons could become unpredictable, with some regions experiencing long periods of extreme heat or cold. This would have devastating effects on agriculture and ecosystems worldwide. The loss of lunar tides would dramatically alter coastal environments and marine ecosystems. Many species that rely on tidal cycles for feeding, reproduction, or migration would face significant challenges. Ocean circulation patterns would change, potentially affecting global climate systems. Even terrestrial life would be impacted. Many animals use the moon for navigation or timing of behavioral cycles. Nocturnal creatures would need to adapt to darker nights, while plants that time their flowering based on moonlight might struggle to reproduce. As we contemplate a future where the moon is slightly more distant each year, we're reminded of the interconnectedness of our cosmic environment. The moon's retreat is a testament to the dynamic nature of our solar system and the ongoing processes that shape our world. While we won't see drastic changes in our lifetimes, understanding the moon's gradual departure gives us a deeper appreciation for the celestial dance that has shaped Earth's history. It also highlights the importance of continued lunar exploration and research as our closest celestial neighbor still holds many secrets about the history and future of our solar system. Now it's time to hear from you. How do you think humanity's relationship with the moon might change as we become a spacefaring civilization? Share your thoughts in the comments below.